Welcome to the next Moto Champion Talk Show brought to you by Dunlop. If you missed last week's episode, you can always go back and watch it on our YouTube channel or subscribe to our newsletter on the front page of nextmotochampion.com and get the next Moto Champion Talk Show delivered straight to your inbox each Tuesday. Hashtag Talk Show Tuesday. And now for the news. MotoGP has reached the halfway point in the season at Saxon Ring, where some history was made, starting with Danny Pedrosa's official retirement announcement. Pedrosa expressed his gratitude for his lengthy career, but also went on to say that he didn't love racing with the same intensity as before, and that he now has different priorities in his life. Along with his retirement announcement was the announcement that he would be inducted into the MotoGP Legends Hall of Fame. As for the race, Mark Marquez smashed the lap record, taking pole position with his 12270 flyer. The king of the ring went on to take his ninth German GP in a row from his ninth pole position in a row. Valentino Rossi took second place ahead of Maverick Vinales. In Moto2, Brad Bender took his first Moto2 win after a dramatic start to the race. And in Moto3, Jorge Martin took the whole shot from pole position and the eventual win. Let's check out your point standings at the halfway point of the season. Summer break is now in session for World Superbike, and riders are already taking advantage of the time off. Some are maximizing with a little training, like Marco Melandri. Others are trying their hand at the other side of the sport, like Michael Vandermark, who attended the Goodwood Festival of Speed to do his first hill climb event and driver's ball. American PJ Jacobson is back stateside and thoroughly enjoying a little time off, pictured here with his wife Danielle at the Polo Club in Connecticut. Racing will resume in Portugal September 14th through 16th. Let's take a look at the current point standings with only four rounds to go. In American Flat Track, the Buffalo Chip TT will take place on August 5th in Sturgis, South Dakota. But in the meantime, several of AFT's premier riders celebrated the 25th anniversary of the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The Festival of Speed is the largest motoring garden party in the world, a unique summer weekend that brings together a mix of cars, stars, and motorsports royalty to create the largest car culture event in the world. For the first time, the event featured the premier flat track series, and riders Jared Meads, Brad Baker, Shayna Texer, and Jeffrey Carver Jr. with Chad Coast made the trip to join in on the festivities. Back stateside, the rest of the riders will prepare for the upcoming round. Let's take a look at where points currently stand. As for Moto America, Round 6 at Utah Motorsports Campus takes place this coming weekend. And if you want to watch the Twins Cup and Stock 1000 class race, Moto America will be live streaming both races on Facebook. So set your watches and tune in. Let's take a look at your point standings ahead of Round 6. And that's your news. All right, it's time for this week's product spotlight. This week, it's the Dunlop Q4. Why are you so sweaty? <sighs> Dunlop's Q3 Plus is still the industry go-to option for riders seeking out premium hypersport performance with longer tread life, but the Q4 
is on another level and has a bold look, bold performance, and made for bold riders. So uh, look away if a purpose-built track day tire with lean angles up to 62 degrees makes your visor fog up. You're right, Kevin. This street legal tire is full of engineering and technology that makes it the clear choice when you want to take traction you can trust to the next level. The Q4 doesn't require tire warmers and runs at street tire pressure so you don't have to mess with chassis or electronic adjustments. Yeah, it features carbon fiber technology and uses carbon fiber reinforcements in the sidewalls for exceptional cornering performance, braking stability, and feel. It's the same thing they make B2 stealth bombers out of, so uh, you know it's really good and stuff, even though the people can still totally see you. And the engineers didn't stop there, Kevin. They added jointless tread technology, which lays a continuously wound strip of all new compound around the carcass to optimize stability, flex and grip across the rear tread profile. Oh, and by the way, it's the same technology used in Moto America Slicks. I'm not a doctor or anything, dude, but it's kind of like the ACL of the tire, maybe? Yeah, that's right. You're not a doctor. You're an idiot. But I can guarantee you that wasn't written on the chalkboard in the think tank of engineers when they came up with that concept. There is no way you can know that for sure. And how old are you, man? Engineers don't use chalkboards anymore. They use dry erase boards. Okay, what I do know for sure is that the Q4 is made in the good old US of A on the same equipment as Moto America Race Slicks and features cool on-tread branding with raised lettering. Baseball, apple pie, and Dunlop. I'm gonna get that to trend and to stick, brother. Yeah, whatever, good luck with that. What we can agree on, David, is that the Q4 is an amazing achievement in Dunlop's impressive evolution in tire performance and gives riders yet another choice when the ultimate in performance is required. The Q4 is ready. Are you? And now for your Umbrella Girl of the Month, courtesy of Umbrella Girls USA. Kara was born in New York City, working as a model for eight years before settling in Los Angeles. She's been involved in the automotive industry since 2013, where she started out representing the Maserati brand. She's since worked for brands like Dior and AT&T, and was a featured Corona ring girl during the Mayweather vs. McGregor fight. She has studied musical theater since she was six years old, and is also a classically trained singer. She's a travel enthusiast and has developed a passion for language learning phrases in a little over 50 languages. She most recently represented Motul on the World Superbike Grid and loves the thrill of motorcycle racing. Keep an eye out for Kira in the Moto America circuit. And that's your Umbrella Girl of the Month. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. We'll have more for you all season, including your favorite racers, fast products, Moto America, and American Flat Track coverage. Don't forget to join the over 20,000 others and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join our newsletter and get this show and more straight to your inbox each week. We look forward to spending the second half of the season with you. And for the latest in motorcycle racing, it's here at Next Moto Champion. But in the meantime, several, several, celebrated the 25th anniversary.